Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me asynchronously in our cohort about firm goals and flexible means. Um, essentially, this cohort is about differentiation, but as a reminder, differentiation doesn't mean that every student gets to do whatever they want. What we have to come back to is this idea of firm goals. So what I'd like for us to practice doing for this month um, in our in our study um, of this kind of differentiation is to figure out what it means to unpack a standard and determine what these firm goals are. So here is the handout that I'd like for you to complete at some point this month. If you'd like maybe to sit down with me for 20 minutes and we could do it together, that would be totally fine as well. And then we'll come back together in November and kind of talk through the process and where we go from there. So, so here's what I'd like for you to do. Number one, I'd like for you to decide on a standard that you're going to measure in an upcoming unit. Think like a November-ish unit, maybe a January unit if you wanna start doing some, some planning for second semester. Maybe it's a unit where you're still kind of in flux, like you don't know exactly what the summative is going to be yet, or um, it doesn't really matter. So I'd like for you to copy and paste a standard. So this would be something from Common Core. This would be something from your Illinois state standard, um, something that you think you, you want to measure and hit, something that's sort of been assigned to you. Now, I want to remind you that, um, you know, learning happens in this long progression and a standard is usually one sentence and it's not going to include everything. So number two, I'd like for you to think about the enabling content or enabling skills. So all the things that are sort of hidden in that standard that students might need to unpack. So let's say this is like um, a real like process skill-based standard. There's all sorts of knowledge that needs to go into that. If you're having them if the standard says to like present something, think about all of the enabling knowledge and skills that might have to go into that that are sort of not explicitly listed. From there, we're going to put on our grammar hats and we're gonna unpack the standard and list all of the nouns, list all of the verbs, and list all of the adjectives and adverbs. And I kind of explain in this middle column why we do that and what those nouns end up becoming, what the verbs end up becoming, and what the adjectives and adverbs end up becoming. Essentially, the argument is that if we organize knowledge around a smaller number of larger conceptual ideas, um, it's just gonna stick in students' brains more. So what are your big ideas for this unit? as determined by your standard. Number two, what are your verbs? Verbs become like the skills, right? So what are students doing? And in a perfect world, how are we pushing them to, to do performance tasks, um, to create authentic kind of um, summative assessments for our students? And finally, adjectives and adverbs um, are your words like um, concise and valid and appropriate where are those words in the standards? And then what does that tell you about success criteria? Uh, how would you build a rubric um, from that? I wanna remind you that all of this is stage one of understanding by design. So we are not building an assessment yet. We are not determining how we differentiate yet. All we're doing is asking ourselves, okay, what's the target? What do I want students to know and be able to do? And then our next step in November will be to, um, build learning targets from this. All right, check in if you need any help.